Are you fucking kidding me? Chelsea and Mauricio Pochettino have agreed to part ways mutually and Pochettino and his staff leave Chelsea Football Club. And my initial reaction was that I was shocked that this has happened. I was surprised that it happened, despite reading reports that it was a 50-50 split. And my initial reaction, again, is to all these naysayers, all these doom and gloom was all season. You've got your way well fucking done, because what happens now? Somebody else has got to come in, and they're going to need time to work with the squad and try and get a, a pattern of play, get the squad to understand how they're going to play, and it could take another fucking season. Are you lot that were calling for Pochettino's head going to be patient if it doesn't go right, if we have problems during the course of the season, if we're struggling? Are you going to sit there and give this new coach time because you wouldn't give Pochettino that time earlier in the season? Now, all I kept saying all season was give the guy time, the injury problems, a young squad, a brand new club, basically, in the hierarchy. It's a fucking shambles is what it is. One defeat in 14, 15 games, five straight wins. We qualify sixth in the Premier League and we wait on Man City to beat Man United in the FA Cup to go Europa League. If not, if United somehow win it, we go European Conference League or whatever it's called. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. And what's this now? That's four managers in a couple of seasons for Bowley and his ridiculous fucking board. It's a joke. It's an absolute fucking joke. They've made our club look like an absolute shambles. A shower of shit. And it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So let me ask every single one of you a question that's watching this video right now. Forget what I feel. Forget your emotions and my emotions, okay? Look at the most successful managers in the Premier League era, okay? Because there's reports right now, or been reports the last few days, that Mauricio Pochettino wants more of a say in transfers. But according to reports, again, that I'm reading on social media today and days previously, the Chelsea hierarchy want a younger manager who is willing to get on with it with the players they're given. Pretty much that's the general consensus. So I'll refer back to the question I was just starting to ask every single one of you. The Premier League managers in the, in the Premier League era that have been the most successful. Think of them. Alex Ferguson. Do you think he was a yes man? Or do you think he had say on transfers? Arsene Wenger. Do you think he had a say in his transfers or not? Jurgen Klopp. Did he ever say, or was he just a yes man and just told to get on with it? Jose Mourinho, to a point possibly at Chelsea, but when he wanted stuff done, he got it and he got the players he wanted. Pep Guardiola, do you think he sits there and accepts the players he's given, or do you think they actually think, do you know what, we're going to give you a say in transfers because you seem to be one of the best managers in the world and we're going to back you? What about the situation with Antonio Conte? Antonio Conte at Chelsea, when he came in, he turned the team around based with a tactical formation and then went to the summer to the board at Chelsea to ask for backing and didn't get it. And what happened? I'm sick and tired of this modern fucking methodology or whatever, you, or whatever, I can't get my words out, where the club buy the players and they don't seek any any input from the manager or the manager's input doesn't matter. The person that works with them day by day, the coaching staff, the management, these are the people that work with the players on every single day on that training pitch. They know the players inside out. They get to know them. They know the type of players they want <clears throat> and they're not given a say. And it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. And we've got more people in the boardroom than it seems that in our squad right now. They're coming out with ridiculous statements Pochettino's come out and obviously said, so this is what the sporting directors, Lawrence Stewart and Paul Wynn Stanley, they got a lot to fucking answer for, have said, on behalf of everyone at Chelsea, we'd like to express our gratitude to Mauricio Pochettino for his service this season. He will be welcomed back to Stamford Bridge any time and we wish him all the very best in his future coaching career. He'll come back with a team and beat us. <clears throat> Guaranteed. Pochettino said, thank you to the Chelsea ownership group and the sporting directors for the opportunity to be part of the football club's history. The club is now well positioned to keep moving forward in the Premier League and Europe in the years to come. 
I'm not going to edit this out. I'm just going to keep it going. I cannot believe this guy, Pochettino, forget what he done at Tottenham, forget all that crap and this stuff that he won't win anything. Simon Jordan, I respect Simon Jordan. I like him a lot. He was like, he can't see him being the one to push him over the line. But he's never going to have that chance now, is he? But anyway, you think of what problems the guy's had <clears throat> with injuries. He's come in and once again, the, you know, you could call them sick notes, but we need to make sure they're not, obviously. We lose Ben Chilwell and we lose Reese James for most of the season. Massive, massive impact on our plans for the season, the first team squad, first team itself. We lose Nunkunku in pre-season. He's out most of the season. Lavia out most of the season. Other players have been out with injuries. We've had the most injuries of any football club in the Premier League. We've had, I think, 15, 16 more than anybody else. They worked out a figure of the amount of games people have missed and combined them all together. And Chelsea were like hundreds more than anybody else. It was just ridiculous. He's had to deal with the injury problems. He's had to try and deal with trying to get consistency where you keep having to keep changing the players and the back four especially and the goalkeeper. And he kept talking about the fact they just need to keep working. We keep working hard. Keep and trying to get to know each other, get to learn the way they want to play and get consistency. And he's fought all season long to do that. <clears throat> should have won the League Cup. Forget what happened extra time. We should have won it. Played fantastically well second half against Liverpool. They were lucky to beat us. Man City were lucky to beat us in the FA Cup semi-final. A final and a semi-final in a season where we said, if we have a good cut run, it'd be great. For me, that's per that's that's beyond expectations. We said beginning of the season, or I said beginning of the season, if we can get anywhere near European qualification, I will take that as progress and a successful season. We've gone from 12th to 6th. We've gone one defeat, in 14 games, the Arsenal, bad defeat. We all know that. Didn't turn up, got battered. But apart from that, been an outstanding run. We are up there in the top four with points taken in the Premier League since Boxing Day. Only Liverpool, Arsenal and Man City have got a better record than us since Boxing Day. How on earth can you sit and come to a conclusion that you're going to end it? You're going to stop what progress the manager has made with the squad and you're going to start all over again because you're not going to get your way if he stays. You're not going to get to play with a club like you have been for a couple of seasons. <clears throat> if we don't sign experienced players this summer, which Pochettino keeps talking about, Thiago Silva said it on his interview we've seen on Sky Sports, experienced players and the mix, then... And they just keep going on data. They keep going on young players that are going to take a couple of seasons to, to flourish and develop. Then it's all going to go a back step. Not going to go anywhere. And I'll keep banging on about it because I'm, I'm fed up to the fucking back teeth with it of all the shit that I'm reading constantly for the last six months about Chelsea. People that I follow on social media. People on YouTube people that I actually pay a subscription for, for daily updates, coming out with this crap about Pochettino the whole time, whinging and moaning. Chelsea are nowhere near where they were a couple of years ago when we won the, the, the Champions League, the Club World Cup and everywhere else because we had experienced players. But even before that, the two years, two years, the two decades of dominance, the football club was together. The players were experienced they were together, they were a strong core, they understood what it meant to play for Chelsea and they had it and it, it was set in stone and we just, just adapted to it season after season. Somebody else coming in, couple in, couple out. But the nucleus of that squad was there and carried us through because everyone took everybody with them. We're a brand new fucking football squad here and it's just an absolute joke to what Bowley has done to our club. He stitched up Graham Potter with giving him 30 odd players to deal with, which is just an absolute fucking joke. He should never have got rid of Tuchel in the first place. Yes, they might have fallen out about differing views, but Tuchel is a renowned manager with a great record. Got rid of him, so don't. He doesn't agree with him, so just fucking fire him. So Tuchel had gone. Potter coming in lasted seven months, and he went. 
Then you've got Lampard coming in on a temporary basis and he turned around and said he understands what the problems are at the football club. You want a strong manager to come in. The strong manager comes in. Over time, he develops the players. They get a way of playing. He then says he wants more of a say and you say, no, 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 this is our little toy. You can fuck off and Pochettino goes. I think it's disgusting. It might be a, a mutual agreement. I think it's disgusting. I think Bowley and the board need to fucking look at themselves and sell up and fuck off and go out and just somebody else with a football brain, a football mentality that understands the game, take over the football club and who love football, who love the football club, take it over and sort it out. You've got to give the manager a say in the players that he wants if he's going to build the club to what he wants them to be. You're not going to be successful with a manager coming in as a yes man, having no fucking say on transfers or maybe an opinion, but ends up with people they've signed that are completely different to what you want. It's not going to work. It is not going to work. And all these managers we're now being linked with, do you think they want to come to our football club looking at Bowley and Clear Lake or whatever they're called's record of managers here? Do you think they're going to come here with that record, or track record of the managers being sacked? Do you think they're going to want to come here and play bit part as far as the actual transfer strategy goes because you've now got two clowns in fucking in position and all this nonsense? It's an absolute joke. It is an absolute joke. The way that the football club is operating now is scandalous. It's absolute fucking scandalous. And I'm just sick and tired of, of the fact that you get a good manager in who deserved time, deserved a second season at least. But Bowley and the board listen to these fucking idiots on social media that come out reactionary. Pochettino's fault. This is on Pochettino and all this bollocks. Yes, you might have a reaction from me. I think it might have been earlier in the season where I was having a go at Pochettino about the team selection, his substitutions and stuff like that. But for the most part, I was always positive on this channel about Pochettino despite the Tottenham linked, I was always positive with him because I understood the project. You want a manager to come in and manage the project. And it's taken him pretty much three quarters of a season to get the players into the way he wants them to play. They like, I get it, and they go on that fucking run. One defeat and 14 in the Premier League. And you decide it's not good enough. How is that not good enough? Is it purely down to the transfer strategy that he wants more of a say and he wants more experienced players? Is it that because he said he wants more experienced players as well and they're not looking at that? They want a younger manager. It's just, who is it out there? Who's out there that would be willing to come to our football club with a proven track record in the Premier League of success? Not of someone in the Premier League that's sort of survived. Not someone that's done it abroad in like a, I don't know, like a big club which is used to winning. It's like, come to this football club with Premier League experience and success, experience as success. Recognise success. It's just, I just, I'm at a loss. I really am at a loss and I'm ranting. It's like 14 minutes now. But I can't believe the, the situation. I can't believe it. What are you guys thinking about all of this and what you're reading, what you're hearing, the new managers being linked with the football club and everything else? I think it's shocking. It's absolute shocking. And it's just a joke. It's an absolute joke. So fuck knows what's going to happen next season. I was optimistic. Sitting there when the season finished, sixth place. Do you know what? We build, bring some experience in get rid of the players that we don't really need in that football squad and then go again and improve again and hopefully go Champions League next season, that now is completely up in the air. But the problem is, you lot out there that have been naysayers all season because all you're used to seeing is Chelsea be successful and winning because you don't look back further than that and understand what it was like in the past. Chelsea was never successful. Chelsea were were fighting just to be in the top league. Then they got in the top league and it was like, let's try and finish top half. And that was a good season. If we could beat one of the big clubs, it was fantastic. That was our season. That was our highlight. And then you had your Zola coming in and everybody else 
The club began to change, the mentality began to change, and we built on that. But all you guys know is success. So whoever comes in has now got to deliver better than Pochettino, sixth place. They've got to be pushing top four. With a squad that will be new to them, for the players to try and get used to what they want and understand it, and that's going to take time. But will you give them people time? Will Bowley and the Chelsea fucking hierarchy give them time? Because right now their track record is they're not gonna. And it's just an absolute fucking joke. Bring back Abramovich. Bring back Marina. Peter Cech. Let's have some fucking identity here with what we're trying to do. Jesus. It's true. You don't know what you got till it's gone. Honestly. It's, we're just a shower of shit. We're just an absolute joke football club right now. Who would, who honestly would want to come in and take over this football club with the Muppets upstairs and the expectation from them to just come in and get on with it? Bearing in mind their track record, bearing in mind they're not going to get time because it's obvious the board won't give them time and the Chelsea fans, some of the Chelsea fans won't give them time. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke, and I've had enough of it. So, sorry to rant, but I had to. It's my. It's pure emotion, pure reaction, because I've literally just seen the news. Five minutes before I click to start on this video, I'm just shocked. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know all your comments, all your opinions, in the comments section. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon. When fuck knows what's going to happen. See you later.